All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, this is that kind of beat up Wii that I wound up picking up at Hard Off uh, recently. The one that was listed is non-working. I haven't had a chance to even power this thing on. I just put the cables in the back here. These are the cables that were left over from my other Wii that I had in the room here. But unfortunately, due to space, I couldn't keep it up here. So it was kind of convenient for me. Uh, I'm noticing the red light comes on. That's as far as I've uh, checked so far. I went and I picked up a controller here so we can try and you know test this out but that's it and I figured we could kind of turn this thing on and see what it does this thing was listed as non-reading um, or wouldn't read discs so I guess we'll see here let's uh, let's turn on the power Ooh. oh you can hear that that's a nice grinding sound and I don't even think this is on the right channel let's see Hmm. Is this thing not getting any video? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. A button. Ah, oh, I need to sync this thing up. Let's see. This thing hasn't been used in a while, or the battery on the inside here is dead. So let's see, it's the second, I think. I have no idea what time it is. Mm, I'm guessing maybe like. Maybe five o'clock. Uh, let's see, we'll do four by three with this one. No nickname. What? Let's see. Let's put in We Me. It's really weird that it needs a nickname. It's kind of crazy. Parental controls, no. Let's finish it. See what this thing's doing or what it's not doing here. What it even has on it. Well, it looks pretty blank. Disk drive channel. Is there anything in here? Maybe not. Nothing in there. All right. So yeah, that's what's going on here so far. You can hear it just grinding. So I'm gonna strip this thing down, and we'll take a look at the inside. I'll be back in a little bit. All right. So now you can see we have the drive out, and what I've noticed on the bottom already is just by looking at it, you can see there's some dust and dirt that's kind of collected up underneath there. What my guess is is this thing is probably just clogged up, and the rails are really bone dry, and that's what's causing it to. Uh, to you know not slide and uh, the gear is just slipping on the other gear so what we're gonna do is try and clean this thing up try and add some more lubricant and adjust some stuff and see if we can get this working so I'll get the top part off here and I'll be back in a little bit alright so as you can see inside this drive as I had expected you can see that uh, there's some growth going on in here <laughs> so this thing is uh, definitely very very dirty and uh, and this is probably one of the biggest problems why the laser mechanism won't move. It's just because it's clogged up. So what I'm going to do is try and clean this thing out here. We'll uh, re-grease it and uh, we'll put it back together and see what we get. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the drive all put back together. We got our power light on. Haven't turned anything on yet. Figured we could give it a shot here and see what it does, or see what it sounds like. And let's see I'll have to press. Well, that's still uh, still grinding quite a bit. It's actually not uh, not pulling the laser mechanism back. Hmm. Let's see here. And 
turn this down just a little bit so it's not uh, the main thing going on here. Yeah, it's definitely not a uh, Wow, okay, well that's reading. Kind of. Okay, well it's reading now. Just got some serious grinding issues going on. Uh, let's see here. Let's see you eject this thing. I forgot, this thing's not pushed up in here, so... Where is my tiny screwdriver? That might even be the uh, the top part of the drive that's uh, the uh, gear loading mechanism that's causing all that trouble. That's kind of what it sounds like. Maybe it's not the... Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? Huh. Well, it reads games. It's just the uh, the loading mechanism here for it. I thought I saw a few uh, screwdriver marks. Maybe somebody tried to forcefully take the game out here, and that's what's uh, causing all the gear grinding. But yeah, it is playing. I just don't know what uh, what is causing that huge grinding sound there. Probably going to have to take this apart a little bit more and see what's going on. Yeah, because this bottom roller here, this thing is not uh, not acting the way it should. But it is reading, and it's reading pretty, pretty well here. Just takes a couple of seconds like normal. There we go. But I'm going to have to take this top part out again. Trying to see exactly where the the sound is coming from here too. Kind of sounds like it's coming in the back, but all right. Well, I'll get on that and uh, try and see what else we can do about getting this to stop making that horrible sound. <laughs> Be back in a bit. All right. So upon further inspection here of the drive. It's going to be very difficult to see, but if you guys can see this white gear here, right in the very middle there, it's cracked. And it's cracked and it's bulging out just a little bit, so what happens is when the drive kicks in, it hits that bulb uh, and it's kind of like uh, a bulge in your tire. So if you were riding a bicycle and there was a bulge in your tire, and uh, each time you came to that bulge it would hit, that's what it's doing here, it's just clicking. So. I'm going to have to try and see if I can smooth that out there and uh, fix that crack in the middle. And then uh, we'll try and put it back together and see what we get. But that's the uh, the problem there. And I'll get on that and I'll be back in a little bit. So see you guys soon. Alright, so as you can see here, what I've done with this pole is I've, uh, I've taken it out and I've tried to uh, kind of, let's see here, use some epoxy on here. I have to apologize, there's some construction going on around the house, so it sounds like you can hear the grinding probably in the background. But uh, here is the post that was uh, cracked. This had the cracked gear in it, and uh, I went around the edge here with some uh, JB Weld to try and hold it in place, and then smoothed it out a little bit, and uh, yeah, it seems to be holding pretty well. I haven't had a chance to turn it on yet. I let it set overnight just because I want to make sure that it got uh, a really solid grip on there and uh, it wasn't going to come off or anything. So the next step here will just be to put the drive system back together and to test everything out. But uh, that's in place right there. It should be a lot better now, um, but we'll have to go ahead and check. So next thing I'll do is I'll try and get this thing put back together and I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so we've got the drive put back together here and everything's plugged in. I haven't uh, hit anything on here as far as the power goes, but we'll turn it on and give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to sound much different with the construction going on here, but hopefully... Nope, that didn't really seem to change much, did it? That is a bummer. 
That correct gear I thought was gonna change a lot. Hmm, I can see. Well, it's definitely turning now. I just don't know if that is due to a lack of, uh, like, lubrication on the inside there or what. But, uh... I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll uh, put the game in here and see what it does. At least that gear is spinning now. Um, before, what would happen is because that gear was cracked, it was just spinning on its own, so it wasn't really turning this. Yeah, that's not exactly the uh, the best sound there. It plays, but it just does not sound uh, sound very nice. I kind of like the construction going on in the house. <laughs> but yeah, it does work. So, I guess for the most part, this thing is somewhat, uh, you know, it's working. It's just got that, that really bad kind of clicking sound. Well, it kind of sounded like it got a little bit quieter there. It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe not. Okay, well, nonetheless here, maybe we'll... Uh, We'll try something else. We'll see if we can get it a little bit quieter, but it seems like it's just, it's not gonna get much better than that. It'll work and it'll, uh, it'll take the game in and out, but it's just that. Yeah, you can hear it when it goes to release it. It sounds a little bit better, but uh, yeah, that gear is definitely not the best. But nonetheless, we'll see what else we can do. Maybe I'll take it apart one more time and we'll see if we can get it a little bit better. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so what I've done here is I've actually taken this out and uh, I've had to try and go in between these grooves here to try and file those down just because they wouldn't uh, sit snugly inside here and this is what was kind of causing it to bind up a little bit. So what I've got here is I've got the, uh, the inside parts smoothed out a little bit more so it should turn a little bit smoother. It's probably not going to correct the problem 100% but hopefully it'll make it a little bit better. I'll try and add maybe just a little bit of lubricant. I know this is near a belt so I don't want to do it too much. Uh, hopefully that'll be able to uh, kind of smooth things out and maybe make it work a little bit easier without being so noisy but that'll be the next step there. We'll try and put this back in. A little bit of oil here and we'll see how it goes so I'll be back in a little bit. Alright so I've greased this thing up a bit and uh, I've got this thing uh, a little bit kind of sanded down a little bit on the sides here and as you can see here there's the grease. And I haven't had a chance to try it, but hopefully it'll be a little bit better than uh, what it was before. We'll find out here. It's probably not going to be perfect, but let's give it a shot. That actually sounds a lot closer to what it's normally supposed to sound like, believe it or not. It sounds a little bit loud through here, but that is about uh, normally what it sounds like. That's pretty cool. It's actually much, much better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Even though it's still making a little bit of a uh, clicking sound over there on the side, um, that can't be helped. The main reason why it's making that clicking sound is because when the gear split, it spread the, uh, the gear legs apart. And by doing that, it caused a, a big enough gap. It was just a little bit, but a big enough gap in that bottom where that grub screw is, that's causing it to uh, catch. And that's what's causing the clicking sound, so. But yeah, that's much, much better. You guys probably can't hear the difference too much, but yeah, it's a lot, lot better um, than what it was before. It's a little bit of a softer kind of clicking sound. And when the case uh, goes back on, I think it'll make it really, really quiet. It shouldn't be too bad. Let's see. Put the disc back in again here. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's probably going to pick up a lot more through the camera than it is in person here. But it is reading it. It's reading the disc really well, and it's taking the disc in and ejecting it out every time. So I would safely say that this thing is fixed. So I'm going to put this thing back together. We'll do uh, one final run with it. 
after we get everything cleaned up because the top part here is really rough. But once we get it all put back together, we'll see if it sounds any different when it goes back together. So I'll be back in a little bit for the final touches. All right, so we've got her all cleaned up here and uh, put back together. And as of right now, the construction has stopped, so it's a little bit quiet, which is a good thing. <laughs> I swear, through all the uh, you know construction and the cold that I have here, it's kind of difficult to probably hear anything that's going on. But we've got it all ready to go. Figured we could turn it on here and see how it goes. Uh, haven't turned it on yet, so. Well, that's a little bit, a little bit louder than uh, than uh, normal, but it's not bad by any means. It's still good, so that will work out fine. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect here, unfortunately, due to that gear being cracked, but it's definitely at least going to be able to uh, load and eject without having to worry about that gear breaking anymore because it's secured in there with some pretty heavy steel compound and and it does eject so it ejects quite well just that uh, just the noise is a little bit uh, louder than usual but I think even eventually over time what will happen is probably that gear will situate itself maybe get into place a little bit more uh, not to say that it'll grind itself down or anything like that but it should definitely I don't know, maybe situate itself in place over time, but nonetheless here, just wanted to share this with you guys here, some Captain Rainbow. You guys are probably thinking, what is that? <laughs> I wish I could explain it, it's something that you have to see, but yeah, it's playing it fine. It does have uh, a couple of drive, you know, sounds, but other than that, works great. Just figured I'd share this with you guys here, a little bit of a look at our uh, refurbishing uh, repair of a regular Wii and yeah it's about all for me for right now like always I'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching Nintendo will probably say something if I leave this running for too long let's see take that out yee yeah, that should be okay. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'll see you again soon.